Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Uh, sorry I've been away so long. I've had some uh, remodeling to do around the house here, and the corner room's been uh, short of shut down, so uh, everything's done now. I'm trying to get back into making some videos. Today I have a CAC submission results for you guys. These first uh, 11 coins I'm going to do, are the, these are my buddy's coins that he sent in. This one here is the ADS in 64, I believe, and some really beautiful toning. Um, got that real nice green and then the red that you really want to see on the kind of on the higher end toners. The reverse also looks uh, pretty nice. A um, couple small hits by the Eagle, but nothing too distracting. And um, CAC did like this one. So it's a pretty good win on that coin. Now, up next, we have another one that's uh, very similar, but this one's in the MS65. Same type of toning, a uh, little bit different pattern. You notice that um, it gets to a, almost like a, it's real dark right by the eye, but overall has, an, has a real nice look. Uh, I kind of like the first one a little more, even though it was a lower grade. Uh, pretty clean overall. You got some hits in the front of the face. Reverse. Kind of some darker toning that's not real eye appealing. Uh, very clean though. It's pretty mark free. And uh, this one did not pass. And I think that... Um, the difference in the color, and I, I just think that one's just not quite there for a 65 is probably why that one did not pass. Um, up next, we got a 79S MS66. This coin is super clean. Um, he thought it had a shot at gold. Um, I, I thought it had an outside shot at gold. Um, it's actually a real, the obverse is really super nice on this coin. Um, if I recall, there's just a couple too many hits on the reverse to um, go to gold, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, right up here by the date, or not by the date, by the where it says states. There's a few, and then right down here by dollar, you got a couple, and then over by yeah, this one. This is a case where uh, some to the right, um, where the. Uh, I, reverse is uh, actually not as nice which isn't usually how it goes on on Morgan's usually the reverse is nicer but this one did pass I just um, I don't think it's quite there to get a gold I, I think if you crack this coin out you you would have a shot at a maybe getting a plus I had one I had a coin very very similar to this and um, I tried that sent it to PCGS it came back a six again and it was actually slightly PL so that's it's a tough game to play, but if if he wants to try it on there, I mean I don't I don't uh, fret him for that. Um, up next we got a seventy nine S, another one. This one's in sixty five. Um, really clean coin. You can notice there is more uh, action on the front than the last coin, but uh, overall real nice eye appeal. Very frosty on the bust. You want to see that on the? Oh yeah, this is a reverse toner. This toning is kind of cool, very orange. Um, fades into that nice blue. And uh, CSC didn't like this one. And I, my thought on this one, maybe not not that it's not a five, they, something about the toning they didn't like. Maybe it's this here. Um, you don't see a lot of blue to orange. That they uh, pass, so maybe it was that. <clears throat> Next, we have a 1895 uh, proof barber quarter. This coin is very cool. I'll have to zoom in on this one too. So, my thoughts on this coin are: this obviously sat in an album or a book, some book for a long time, and I think it might have just sat in there a little too long. You see it has some real nice blue and some reds. So let's say it's set in there for 40, 50 years. 
at, you know, year 20 or 25, this coin might have been, you know, bright blue toning with red, you know, hues to it and it been really nice. But then it sat another 10, 15 years in there and then it started getting darker and darker. And um, I think it just maybe was in the album a little too long. Um, really nothing wrong with the coin. It's very clean for 64. I just think maybe it was just in the album too long and it started going. If you leave them in there even any longer than that, they'll start going terminal. So, yeah, and this coin did not pass. Um, that's kind of a bummer, but yeah, I think it just, it just sat too long. Up next, we got a, got an 1896 Morgan and 63 Star. Really beautiful uh, pastel toner. So one nice big hit right across the Eagle's chest. Um, overall, I mean, it's pretty clean for a 63. Reverse too. And uh, this one did not pass. I'm thinking uh, maybe they didn't like the toning. Maybe they thought it was uh, questionable. It's either that or the hit across the Eagle's chest. One of those two. Probably why that didn't want one didn't pass. Next one is the eighteen fifty three dollar gold dollar in uh, AU fifty five, I believe. And that older uh, blue label or old blue PCGS holder. Really pretty coin. Um, I've not owned a lot of gold, so I'm not real uh, schooled on these. You can tell it's you know circulated lightly. It was a really nice look to it. Same thing on the reverse. Um, gold does wear quicker than silver coins. So you gotta take that in, into consideration when you're grading them. And uh, this one passed, so. That's pretty cool. That's a, um, I believe that's the first time he's had a gold coin uh, CAC. So he's pretty happy about that. Uh, next one. 1921 Morgan and 65. Um, this coin, I had a pretty good feeling it wasn't going to pass. Um, and it was, if you see it right there, look right um, directly in line with the chin, it looks like a scratch. Pretty good one. That's kind of deep right there. And I believe there might have been another one. You see there's another something hit right here. Went right across the eye. Right in the field. Hit. And then went right across the eye. So you got one, two good ones. And the reverse. The reverse looks pretty good on this. It's actually kind of a nice strike for a 21 filly. You got full detail on the breast feathers. That strike's actually really good. Um, no issues with the reverse. And this one uh, did not pass. And I, I'm pretty sure it's that scratch and that... Um, Right there by the eye is probably what CAC seen. Next one, we got a 23 Philly St. Gaudens um, gold piece. Beautiful coin. So that coin actually has a little bit of toning to it, which is really cool. I love this design. It's actually the first time I've ever held one of these. I really need to add one of these to my typeset. And unfortunately, before I did, the price of gold shot up, so I've just been kind of hesitant. Um, really nice. They graded the 62, so um, when you're comparing it with that, I mean, this looks like a, a really nice 62 in my opinion. It's got some really like the light orange, pinkish uh, hues to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, and this coin did pass, so that's, that's pretty cool. Nice win on that one. Two left. We got a well, we got 1880 over 9S. It's 80S over 79S, basically. Really pretty coin. Uh, 64 proof like. You can see I'm holding my thumb on the other side, so obviously <laughs> this one did pass. Um, occasionally they'll put the sticker on the left side if it has a ton of writing on it. Um, this coin I really like a lot. It's probably my favorite of the whole group that he sent. Really original, just kind of funky, but really colorful toning. 
super clean. It's very definitely PL. Even with all that toning, you can really see it um, coming through there. It's nice uh, high high eye appeal coin in that. Yeah, in the past, so that's pretty cool. The last one. We got ADS in 63. And obviously on a coin like this, you're shooting for gold or it doesn't really make sense. And <clears throat> really with a coin like this, you're going to need to have like a really kind of 64 plus to 65 range for them to put a gold on it. And uh, well, I think the coin's really nice. I just don't think it's quite there for a, for a gold sticker. I think it's just kind of... A solid 63, maybe on, even on the higher end, you know, 63 plus, something like that. I just don't, don't think it quite takes that leap. And it's not just great, like they want to see um, some sort of thing that makes the coin stand out, you know, high eye appeal to really get that uh, jumped into getting a gold sticker or like way undergraded, one of the two. And this one did pass, but in, in a way that's kind of a loss because, um, you know, with the premiums paid for the the holder and the sticker and everything, you know, to have a, an extra $20, $30 in value added to the coin is probably doesn't work, work out, but uh, you can't win if you don't try, right? Um, so that's it for his group. I believe he went uh, five... Or six, maybe six for a ten. I have to check. Five. Six. Yeah, you went six for of eleven. Maybe it was six for eleven. Yeah, six for eleven. So that's pretty good. I mean, his, his batting average is getting up each time, so that's good. So that's into part one. Part two will be my coins, and stay tuned for that. It'll be the next day or two. Take care, like, comment, subscribe. Good rest of your day.